So, it's the start of day three. Um, a wonderful chef put together some sausage, eggs, and French toast. I destroyed the sausage, we're working on the eggs now. We've got a little bit longer until we head to the show. So we're going to be finalizing our gear, making sure we have everything. And then we're going to go downtown and hit up whatever tonight's event is. Um, from what I understand, we've got the show, then we're coming back and there's stuff going on here. At some point we'll sleep, but there's going to be stuff going on non-stop now. Yesterday was kind of our chill day, or as chill as it was going to get essentially. So today things pick up, things get busier, and things get more impressive. So, I'm going to still try Tyler's, uh, the magic starts now. So, we're trying to have a So, hold up, what? I, I was a college student at one point, so I know how that goes. We're here at the show, Victory Grill. We have the interview station set up, and we're working on getting everything set up. We have two actual artists. Right now, there's going to be some networking in here, and it's really loud. Be careful and come back. I'm like, well, of course. I'm not missing the bus back to the ranch. That would fucking suck. Have to call an Uber and that'd be expensive. So, I don't know that I should have done it. I probably definitely shouldn't be vlogging it. But I totally just bought brownies from the bus. It's supposed to be pot brownies. So, we get back to the ranch, try these pot brownies and see how this goes. I'm actually extremely curious about this, but I'm in Austin, Texas, so I figure why not? Like realistically, when you stop and think about this, I got chosen to join a group, come to South by Southwest, and shoot video, take photos, edit movies, just do what I've been doing in my spare time now, for fun. And essentially, my whole trip is paid for. I paid for gas because I chose to drive my car. 
which you saw, that was rough. But this has totally been like a once in a lifetime opportunity. But as, as it turns out, this might not be a once in a lifetime opportunity because we may be able to come back next year with them. The year after that, and as long as we're doing it, this is their third year. For some of us, it's our first year. Some of them, it's the second. But it's just, it's really nice. Like, it's not quite the rock star life, but it kind of feels like it. I mean, living off energy drinks and cigarettes, having food made for me, grabbing it real quick on the road. This could easily become addicting. Okay, so we have made it back to the cabin, or at least two of us have. Um, those noises you hear off screen, I will explain in just a moment, because his moaning over there sounds really bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> so, there's an event going on here. It's not really popping off yet, so we haven't went over there. But there's a food truck, and we definitely went to the food truck. Um, the food truck is Chef Bully, something like that. But we definitely had to get the, uh, jerk chicken sandwich. And it was sandwich. That was not just me saying it wrong. It was sandwich on the board. And, um, Dave's answer is it's like about halfway gone already. Oh, yeah. Um, I also did pick up a, uh, special snickerdoodle cookie. Special enough it got a black bag. So, you know what that is. But, I'm about to tear into this shit and finish editing, so...